So I have my hand or my tree glued down and now I'm ready to add my circles onto my tree like Klimt did or like Kandinsky did in his concentric circles. So I happen to have tons of extra paper here in the room because we use lots of paper, but maybe you don't have that at home. Maybe you have some like scrapbook paper. You could even use wrapping paper because they have really cool designs on them. You might have an old, um, like we have some old dictionaries that are expired. These would actually make kind of cool texture on your trees. Um, and you can use that for your trees too. You could use cereal boxes and cut circles from the cereal boxes. You could even use any magazines that you have left sitting around the house. So as you can tell, this project is really kind of about using things around the house, kind of recycling or repurposing. You could even use foil, fabric, whatever you have. So what we're gonna do is we have our hand glued down. Now I'm gonna go through and I've gotta make circles. So there's multiple things you can do to make the circle. So in class, a lot of times we use yogurt um, cups to trace. We use coffee cups. You can use the top or the bottom. You can even use a glue stick by holding it down on a piece of paper and tracing it. So there's lots of options when it comes to circles. So you're gonna start um, cutting out circles. So you're gonna pick whatever paper you're doing you're going to put your whatever you're tracing down. You're going to go around it with your pencil and then you're going to cut it out. Now, when you're working on this, your circles, when you're cutting them out, they actually don't have to be perfect circles. They can have a little bit of a texture to them and then you're going to start adding them to your tree. So what I like to do is I like to trace a bunch of circles first and then kind of place them on my paper to see what they look like. I'm going around the glue stick lid. And then for this project, I really don't throw anything away till the end because I like to even use like the part that I cut my hand off of. Um, I can even use that when I'm doing my circles too, okay? Now I've pre-cut some circles and so I can add those to my paper too. I can even use the same color as the hand that I traced. So you can see that I'm stacking the biggest goes on the bottom to the smallest on the top and I'm trying to kind of fill in my tree. And I also want to think about balance because if I have all of my circles on one part of my tree, it's not going to really balance and make my tree full. So I want to think about that. Now, what if you can't find something the size that you need, especially for like the older kids. So if you can't find something the size that you need, say that you need a circle for here, what you can do is get whatever size paper you want and you can actually just get your scissors and you can turn the paper to create the size circle that you need. And you can do that. So you don't necessarily have to trace all the circles if you don't, if you can't find the size. Okay, so as you can see, I had a bunch of these traced, which is perfect because I can use all the little pieces. Now, once I have it laid out the way that I want it, then I can start gluing down the pieces and making it look the way that I want to look. Now, if you notice also, every single one of my circles has a circle, at least a circle inside of it. So you wanna make sure that you have a similar layout because we wanna make it really colorful, right? Okay, now I think this looks pretty good. I can even move some around if I need to. And also when you're doing this, if you want, some of your circles can kind of come off the paper if you need them to. Okay, so I kind of like how that looks. So now I can start gluing them down and I'm gonna use stick glue to do that part also. So once you're done, kind of look at your tree and think, is it as full as you would like? The thing that I love about stick glue is that it doesn't dry super fast. So if you notice, I kind of put 
another circle back behind because I thought it needed to be a little bit full back here. And I was able to glue them down one at a time and slide them in there. And then I, I ended up adding a little bit up here too. So you notice we have a little overlapping and when we have overlapping like things in the background and things in the foreground, it kind of tends to make it look a little bit more full. So that's another thing that you can consider too. So now I'm gonna look at my list. I'm gonna kind of have that list to the side here and I'm gonna figure out how I can add some of those words to my design. So you might wanna start doing this in pencil and then add Sharpie on top of it. Or if you feel comfortable with just doing Sharpie, you can do that also. Think about how you wanna add that design to those words to your, excuse me, to your design. So like, I'm gonna put it where I have spaces on my circle, cause I think that that might be, look really cool. So I'm thankful for my home. Now, obviously you may be thankful for different things in your family or in your life. And you can figure out how to add those to your tree. So I also, when we were talking about adding color, you wanna think about balance. But obviously when you're adding the words, you're also gonna to wanna to think about that balance too.